Sinners out on the ice. Bruno Bergeris for the Red Hawks. We're getting his numbers. And once again, it is Greg Moraz for the Sea Wolves as we are just tonight. As that'll be thrown across ice. That one on that far side for the Sea Wolves. So Colby Ambrosio able to skate away with it for Miami. Fakes the pass, keeps it, comes in over the blue line, saves the shot, and it scores! Holy smokes, what a move by Colby Ambrosio! And he bots a couple of head fakes, as you see on NCAC TV, fakes it to the right, and then just fires a quick rip. He not being completely run out of the game. And that Ooh. shot in on Bruno Braveras, and it's Ryan Johnson sending that one right to the breadbasket of Bruno Braveras, who makes the save and holds on. A full minute plus gone on the power play with 3.50. Pass on the, or could pull the trigger on his shot, and the horn will sound to bring it in to period number one. And the Red Hawks could not really generate a lot on that power play until the final, really, 20 seconds. Back on NCHC TV as we're just underway starting the second period as the Red Hawks have the puck, bringing it into the offensive zone. Puck will be out of the corner, but right out of front, shot, score! Matt Chupani gets the feed from along the goal line, and just like that, the Red Hawks, 23 seconds in, take a 2 nothing lead as we come back on the radio side, Drew. Quick starts in every period, and... Wow, they, they come out here just 23 seconds into the second period. They score as, uh, how about that Selly? Back up, Quinn waits, shot blocked down, and Sullivan spins it in. Save made by Oras as Puck still loose, getting off of his knee. Power play down to five seconds to go. Along the wall, it's Hutchinson in over the left side. A shot and score. It's Casper Nassen. Ray Vitalis fed it from deep in the corner. And foul Casper Nassen. As he and we're going to get another look on NCAC TV. Michael Quinn dishes it down low along the right side to Ray Vitalins. Are now 6 for 18 on the power play. Here comes Colby Ambrosio over the blue line. Plays it into the middle. And then Walter over the left side. Chupani scores. Tic tac toe passing. Chupani finishes. And the Red Hawks lead goes to 4 0. Uh, they greet him warmly as combination to what happened earlier in the game. The first goal of the game, Chupani, though, this time fed by John Waldron. The second assist goes to Colby Ambrosio. Those assists were swift. Someone lost a stick down on the ice as the seconds tick away, and there's the horn to bring an end to the period as Ray Vitalins coming up a little bit hobbled after that play ended as he makes his way towards the bench. And so teams out at center ice so and ready to get things going for the third period. They swap sides, and the Red Hawks will have some power play time left. And Reichwist out there in the play. He went down behind the net. Red Hawks in. Take the puck or give it away. It's slapped by Bruno Braveras on a turnover. And Dimitri Kibru from right between the circles fires at home. And the Sea Wolves get on the board to break up the shutout effort by Bruno Braveras. Still trailing at 4-1. to one. A little bit of confusion there by Miami as they are going to look here as they turn it over right to the middle. And yeah, that's just something you can't do. You cannot turn it briefly onto the stick, but they take it back by the Sea Wolves. And they'll come back in, firing a shot at Riveras with the glove, makes the save. He will get the whistle as the play blown dead. 2.49 to go. Drew a kick down, and the Red Hawks will pick up the win as the horn sounds in the final. The Red Hawks win it by a 4-1 final. <laughs> Red Hawks swept Kinesis about the same time a year ago. Literally the same time a year ago. Same, I mean, same it's